Hi, I'm Emily. Before I dive into my story, please like and subscribe if you enjoy personal tales of unexpected twists. So, I'm a 26-year-old bride-to-be, over the moon about marrying the love of my life. But let me tell you about a rather peculiar incident that unfolded during a family visit, one that really tested my patience and my sleuthing skills. I was at my fiancé's house, super excited to discuss our wedding plans. The atmosphere was buzzing with anticipation and joy. I was wearing my engagement ring, a stunning piece that my fiancé had picked out with such care. At some point during the evening, I went to wash my hands, and without thinking, left my ring by the sink. When I realized what I'd done, I hurried back, expecting to see my ring right where I'd left it. But no, it wasn't there. Instead, I found Olivia, my fiancé's sister, with my ring snug on her finger, posing in front of the mirror, phone in hand, snapping selfies. The sight stopped me cold. Olivia, what are you doing with my ring? She spun around, a flush creeping up her cheeks. Oh, Emily, I was just, uh, cleaning it for you. It looked a bit smudged. Cleaning it? With selfies? I raised an eyebrow, struggling to keep the annoyance out of my voice. Her excuse was thin, and we both knew it. She slipped the ring off quickly, a little too quickly. Yeah, you know, just wanted to make sure it was perfect for all your photos tonight. She handed it back with a nervous chuckle. I took my ring, sliding it back onto my finger, feeling its familiar weight. Thanks. But maybe next time let me know before you decide to clean it, okay? Of course, Emily. Won't happen again. Olivia's voice was sheepish, but her eyes, they held a flicker of something I couldn't quite place. The rest of the visit, I kept thinking about that look. Was it just sibling rivalry, or something more? It was clear I needed to keep an eye on Olivia. Little did I know, this was just the beginning of a series of events that would reveal much more about her than I ever expected. Back home, as I recounted the incident to my best friend over the phone, ideas began to form. Olivia had crossed a line, and somehow, I felt this wasn't just a one-off incident. It was a hint of her deeper feelings, perhaps jealousy or entitlement, and it was something I couldn't just ignore. You know what? I should teach her a lesson, a harmless one, but something to make her think twice before overstepping again. My friend laughed. Sounds like you've got a plan brewing. Indeed, I did. And it would all unfold at our engagement party, where I planned to turn the tables on Olivia in a way no one would expect. At our engagement party, the room buzzed with laughter and chatter, the air filled with the scent of fresh flowers and the sound of clinking glasses. I mingled among our guests, a constant smile plastered on my face, though my mind was occupied with a little scheme I'd cooked up just for tonight. Everyone, can I have your attention, please? I clapped my hands, drawing the crowd into a huddle. We're going to have a little fun now. It's time for the best selfie with the bride contest. The winner gets a special prize, a ring just like mine. Whispers and excitement bubbled through the room as smartphones were hoisted into the air. Olivia was among the first to react, her eyes lighting up with the mention of the ring. Count me in, Emily. I've got to win this. She nudged her way to the front, her phone already in selfie mode. As guests posed and snapped photos with me, I kept an eye on Olivia, who was clearly pulling out all the stops. She flipped her hair, adjusted her makeup, and flashed her most charming smile. It was as if she was trying to prove something, not just to win a contest, but to mark her territory. And the winner is... Olivia, come up here and claim your prize. The applause was loud as Olivia sashayed forward, a triumphant grin spreading across her face. I handed her the box with the replica ring. She opened it eagerly, her eyes sparkling as she saw what was inside. It's beautiful, Emily, just like yours. She slipped it onto her finger, showing it off to everyone around. It suits you perfectly, Olivia. Wear it well. My words were warm, but inside I felt a cold satisfaction. She believed she'd won a prize as valuable as my real engagement ring oblivious to the truth of its worth. As the party continued, I watched Olivia flaunt her new accessory, accepting compliments and reveling in her victory. Little did she know, this was just the beginning of my plan. Tonight was about more than just fun and games. It was about setting the stage for a lesson Olivia wouldn't soon forget. You really got everyone excited with that contest, Emily. My fiancé leaned in, whispering in my ear, his breath warm against my cheek just adding a bit of sparkle to our night. I replied, my gaze drifting over to Olivia,
who was still basking in her moment of glory. The following week, I bumped into Olivia at a family brunch. She was still wearing the replica ring, her hand conspicuously displayed whenever she reached for her coffee or passed the pastries. Everyone seemed enchanted by the sparkle, but I noticed the slight falter in her smile as she caught my eye. That ring really looks amazing on you, Olivia, I commented, keeping my voice light, subtly nudging her into the spotlight. Oh, this little thing, she laughed, but there was a hint of strain. Yes, it's quite a gem, isn't it? Just like yours, Emily. As the brunch went on, I could tell Olivia was more guarded, her usual buoyant demeanor tempered by the weight of the ring. It wasn't long before the true test came. Our cousin, Anna, a jewelry enthusiast, took a closer look at Olivia's ring, her brow furrowing slightly. Olivia, where did you get this? It's quite unique. Anna's curiosity was genuine, but her tone had an edge of skepticism. It was a prize from Emily's party. It's just like her engagement ring, Olivia replied, a touch too quickly. Hmm. Anna peered closer, then looked up at me. Emily, didn't you say your ring was specially made? Yes. Mine was crafted by a small artisan jeweler. Very exclusive. I watched Olivia closely, her discomfort growing. Anna nodded, turning the ring in the light. This one, though, it looks... different. Are you sure it's the same, Olivia? The table fell silent, all eyes on the ring. Olivia's face flushed a deeper shade of red. Well... I... it's supposed to be the same. Her voice wavered, the doubt unmistakable. The moment Anna left, Olivia leaned in, her voice a harsh whisper. Emily, what's going on? This isn't funny anymore. What do you mean? I feigned ignorance, sipping my coffee calmly. It's the ring you won, Olivia. Everyone seems to love it. Stop playing games. This isn't real, is it? Her accusation hung in the air, thick with betrayal and realization. Olivia, you seemed so happy with it at the party. Why does it matter now? I kept my tone neutral, a stark contrast to her rising panic. Because it's fake, and now everyone's looking at me like I'm a fool. Her voice cracked, the facade crumbling. Maybe next time you'll think twice before taking things that don't belong to you, even if just to clean them. My words were soft, but laced with steel. As I walked away, leaving a stammering Olivia behind, I felt a twinge of victory mixed with pity. She had learned her lesson, albeit the hard way, and the true value of the ring had revealed much more than its cost. It had uncovered the real Olivia, stripped of pretense and poised for a fall from grace. As the wedding day approached, the planning sessions became more frequent and intense. Each decision, from the flower arrangements to the seating chart, was a battlefield of opinions and preferences. Olivia, still smarting from the ring debacle, seemed hell-bent on asserting her influence, perhaps as a way to regain some lost ground. During one heated discussion about the reception menu, Olivia pushed for an extravagantly expensive caterer, contrary to our budget-conscious choices. Why don't we go with something a bit more special? This is a once-in-a-lifetime event, after all. Olivia's tone was sugary, but her eyes were challenging, darting towards me as if daring me to oppose her. We've already agreed on a budget, Olivia. Let's stick to what we planned. I responded, trying to keep the peace but firm in my stance. But don't you want your day to be memorable? I'd hate for people to think you cut corners on your wedding, Emily. She smiled sweetly, but the barb was clear. The tension at the table thickened, everyone uncomfortable with the undercurrent swirling between us. Just then, I remembered the ace up my sleeve. Speaking of memorable, I've got some interesting footage from the engagement party. Remember how much fun that was, Olivia? I mentioned casually, reaching for my tablet. The color drained from Olivia's face, her eyes widening. Footage? What footage? Oh, just some clips from the party. Everyone's having a blast. And some really... special moments caught on camera. I continued nonchalantly, tapping on the screen. I think we should focus on the task at hand. Maybe it's not the time to get distracted by old videos, Emily. Olivia stammered, her earlier confidence evaporating. You know, you're right. We should focus. But it's always good to have reminders of who we really are, don't you think? I locked eyes with her, my message clear. Olivia faltered, her schemes deflated by the mere hint of potentially compromising evidence. She nodded meekly, suddenly very interested in the floral catalog in front of her. Let's just stick to the plan, then. No need for anything... extravagant. Her voice was small, defeated. 
As the session wrapped up, Olivia was unusually quiet, her usual fervor for meddling noticeably tamed. The others seemed relieved, whispering thanks and squeezing my hand under the table. It seemed that my strategic mention of the footage had not only curbed Olivia's troublemaking, but also solidified my position as someone not to be underestimated. This shift was not just about keeping the wedding plans on track. It was a clear message that I was no longer a player in Olivia's games. I was the one setting the rules now. You know, Emily, I was thinking it might be better if I helped coordinate the day. You seem a bit overwhelmed, and I have a lot of experience with events. Her offer, laced with a hint of condescension, didn't surprise me. That's kind of you, Olivia, but I think we've got it covered. Are you sure? Because I noticed a few mismatches in your plan. It'd be a shame if things didn't go smoothly because of some oversight. Her tone was sugary sweet, but her intention was clear. Before I could respond, my fiancé chimed in. Olivia, Emily's got this. Let's not overcomplicate things. Olivia's smile faltered, but she pressed on. Well, if you're sure. But remember the engagement party? I'd hate for us to have another mix-up like with the ring. You know, something that everyone talks about. Her jab hung in the air, a clear threat veiled as concern. I met her gaze steadily. Then, with a casual flip of my hair, I let my ace drop. Speaking of the party, I have some interesting footage from that night. I've been meaning to put together a little pre-wedding video. The color drained from Olivia's face. Footage? What kind of footage? Oh, just some fun moments, some touching speeches, and a few unexpected reactions. It's all in good fun. I kept my tone light, but the implication was heavy. I... I think I need to check on something. Excuse me. Olivia stammered, her earlier confidence evaporating as she quickly excused herself from the table. Was that true? The footage? My fiancé asked, eyebrows raised in amusement. Maybe, maybe not, but it's enough to keep her in line. I winked, a small smile playing on my lips. As the wedding planning continued without further interruptions from Olivia, I couldn't help but feel a twinge of triumph. It wasn't just about managing the wedding details anymore. It was about setting boundaries and asserting control over what was rightfully mine, my special day. Olivia's retreat marked a small victory in the ongoing family dynamics, a reminder that while weddings bring people together, they can also shine a light on the true colors of those around you. The story of Emily and Olivia has come to an end, but the discussion doesn't have to. How do you think you would handle a situation where someone close to you oversteps boundaries like Olivia did? Would you confront them directly, or use a strategic approach like Emily did? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. I'm really curious to hear your takes on handling family drama. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed our story, and subscribe to the channel for more intriguing tales. Your support helps us keep bringing these stories to life. Thanks for watching, and let's keep the conversation going.